What is up people and welcome to my channel. Today, I hope you join me as I dive into Fortnite and challenge myself to find the best loot and unlock the most powerful items for victory. When it comes to Fortnite, having the best loot, you know what? Can make all the difference in getting that W. Do you want to win? Of course you do. Do you want to take a jetpack, a machine, a auto third on, and then you see yourself getting third place? Even worse, tenth place? Is that what you like? Of course not. So having powerful items in your arsenal can give you a significant advantage over your opponents, allowing you to outmaneuver and outgun them with ease. In this video, we're going to explore the most powerful items in Fortnite Chapter 5 Season 4 and I hope you're ready for this. First off, locating and securing the best loot in Fortnite can be a real challenge. So many players dying for these same limited resources, everyone's fighting for it, so what do you do? Is it that hard to get? No. Do you need to outsmart them? Yes. Are there so many spots for this specific loot? Yes. If you want me to tell you where they are and make another video on that but let's get to the weapons shall we in the tier list according to my research the number one spot goes to captain america's shield now it is insane for me to start at number one why would i start at number one you may think because i do not think that the captain america's shield should be in number one but is it strong of course it is is it good of course it is Am I using it that much? Of course I'm not, because I prefer a different kind of playstyle. But for players that enjoy the kind of playstyle that play defensive and both offensive, this is the greatest weapon that can be. You can block cars coming at you. You can block every single bullet. You just have to protect your own and you can throw the goddamn shield at someone's face and nuke their game. And now they go back to the lobby. It's over. It's a league on its own, you know, it is one of the best weapons in the game, according to me, and it is the best tier listed weapon on the internet. That's all you need to know. It's so fucking strong. That's why it's up there in number one. The second one is even crazier because I thought maybe Doom's weapon would be on second spot or at least the war machine, submachine gun, you know, whatever you want to call it. But... The number two is Gwen Pulse Dual Micro SMGs, the best, and of course, don't forget, very cute SMG in the game. It is amazing, it's really fast, and it is a quick way to melt opponents, especially when using them for close range combat. As long as you have the gold, we highly recommend buying these from Gwen Pulse if you're serious about winning the match. Personally, me, I would switch them out for the War Machine Arsenal because I like using it and combining it with the jetpack but will i drop dual smgs for anything else except the war machine or snows absolutely not i would drop every single gun i have except the shotgun which is very important with smgs but it's really fucking good and it's up there in number two spot it's hogging it i'm sure you're not gonna be surprised when third on the tier list is the dual micro smgs of course it's there it is basically Gwenpool's SMG, just a little bit weaker, and it's hard to go wrong with this gun, you know? I'm not gonna get into so much details with the dual micro SMGs, because I've already went with the Gwenpool's. It's just good. It's just a little bit weaker. That's it. Now, the fourth spot, though, we got the Hyper SMG. There is common uncommon rare epic and legendary the hyper smg has a very speedy rate of fire but suffers from annoying vertical recoil we've all been there any gun we've used that's been just spraying and spraying our recoil goes crazy so you have to get used to the gun you play even if this gun is at the top tier list if you do not know how to use it it is not that strong if you shoot three bullets and it keys and the next 15 bullets are in the air aiming at whatever you believe in as a god. Feels like. <laughs> I'm joking. Or I'm not. Let's go to the next one. And now finally we have gone for Dr. Doom's Arcane Gauntlet. It's mythic. It's S tier. A cool weapon that shoots cool projectile. What else you want me to say? 
that's what it is. A cool weapon that shoots cool projectiles that deals a ton of fucking damage and it is effective at short and medium range. Yes, uh, like it's not that good in long range, but hey, look at this. If this was your weapon, you'd like it to shoot infinitely, so why not love infinite ammo, right? It, I think it deserves to be out there. It's very really fucking broken. And I love it. I, I love using it. And it's fun. And next on the tier list. There are machines auto turret. I wouldn't put it out there. I personally don't like using it. If I really don't have anything better to put there. Because. Yes it's good. And by the way. The laser distracts the fuck out of you. It distracts you so much when you're in air battles and in ground battles. It doesn't matter where you are. You're just getting shot automatically. That's why it's broken. It's very good in close range. It's so broken combined with your shotgun and SMGs. So should you pick it up? Yes. If you do not prefer to pick it up, that's your choice. I play like that. I want to play like that. Now, I'm very happy because I cannot believe it's this low on the tier list when it comes to the fans of Fortnite, but War Machines Arsenal. It's S tier, it's an epic tier, a very easy and effective weapon to use at almost all ranges. War Machine Arsenal is particularly effective if you also have the auto turret. That's true. It's a very good combination. But will i have auto turret or jetpack i will take the jetpack every single day i will take the jetpack over any weapon in the game that's why personally i rank the jetpack number one but it's not a weapon so it does not count Ooh, look at that i'll be talking to him anyway you're gonna love it it has fucking rockets it uses smg bullets and you can use it at any range what's not to fucking love Pair it with a jetpack and now you're a fucking unbelievable un almost an unkillable demon who shoots rockets and bullets and oh no it's heated up switch to a weapon before you even get to finish the other weapon your turrets are already cooled off does it reload faster yes it does not have any reload by reload i mean does it cool off faster than reloading a gun absolutely should you use it yes if you should see it should you pick it up of course and if you do not use it, I will take it from your hands gladly. <laughs> now it comes to my favorite guns. On this next two tier list, there is the Monarch Pistol, the absolute aim demon gun. If you have good aim and you do not pick up this guy, I will personally shoot you because this gun is disgusting. It's so disgusting. 130 damage headshot any fucking range are you kidding me that is disgusting and it should not be allowed it's a fucking fast shooting sniper rifle that's all you need to know you do not aim downsides just shoots way fast you aim downside it still shoots fast there is nothing of love about this gun except missing your shots and it's fucking amazing but the Tier list according to the internet, Dr. Doom's Monarch Crystal is just a single tier above the normal Monarch Crystal and I absolutely understand why. There is a reason why they name it different like than the Monarch Crystal and they put the Dr. Doom in it. So of course they're gonna make it a bit stronger of course, you know that. Do you want me to continue with the A tier? Of course you do. And the first on the A tier is the Monarch Crystal, which I'm gonna skip because I've already talked about it. And the next is the Striker AR. It's also there in all categories. If you could guarantee getting one with a scope mode, the Striker AR would be even higher on our tier list. That said, it's still a fantastic general, all use weapon. You can use it anywhere, close range, mid range, far range. It's good. I would just prefer to have the Monarch Crystal, SMG, and a shotgun next together. I don't know now how you work, but you like to play. I'm gonna not cut that off. <laughs> but the Striker R will be something you actually like if you like spraying down your enemy. Next on the tier list, on A, is the Enforcer AR. The standard AR is a slow firing medium range weapon, but it makes up for this by being incredibly powerful 
can even turn it into a more of a sniper rifle if a scope is attached. Comes next on the tier list is the Gatekeeper shotgun. You know it has three bullets. Most people don't pick it up because it has three bullets. But those three bullets are fucking disgustingly strong, man. You should pick it up. I I recommend it. Is it better than the other shotgun that has six bullets? Was it the silver shotgun or the pump shotgun? Whatever you want to call it. Yes. Pick it up. Shoot people. Kill them. If you miss, it's fine. Just switch to your next weapon. Is it strong? Absolutely. Is it worth it? Yes. You pick it that up. You pick that up. You pick that up. Shotgun is important in Fortnite. I don't wanna... I do not wanna catch you without a shot. And that is it for my tier list. I'm not gonna continue with the next of the tier list because it just keeps going on and on and on. But those are the most important things you need to know. Except I was lying. Now comes the Panther Claws. You know, sure is black Panther Claws. It's very strong. These claws are best suited for quick travel cell around the map rather than using them to attack opponents. They don't do damage quick enough at close range, meaning someone with a shotgun, an SMG, or Captain America's shield is sure to take you out before you're done swiping, unfortunately. But if you want to get around the map really fast, you take that right click and now you're zooming out of the air faster than a fucking car. It's awesome. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Goodbye. Look, I'm doing the the button for I'm I'm recording my recording because I'm